What would you do if you were the last person on Earth? That's exactly what the film I Am Legend, starring Will Smith, asked its viewers. I Am Legend first came out in 2007. It's based loosely on a book by the same name by Richard Matheson. The film starts with the somewhat hopeful announcement by Dr. Alice Ellis Crippen that her virology team has seemingly discovered the cure for cancer. They've reconfigured the measles virus, and their first 10,009 trials have proven to be successful, at least they think. However, by the time we meet Will Smith's character, Robert Neville, and his dog Sam, it's clear that in the isolated version of New York City, he is the last human man. According to film lore, 99% of the world's population was infected by this mutant virus, and those who are infected turn into what's called Dark Seekers. The Dark Seekers are humanoid in some ways, but they all seem to exhibit this pale, translucent-like skin. They're hairless, they have a heightened sense of smell, and they can move at astonishingly fast speeds. Interestingly though, despite Neville's observations, Dark Seekers do still have some human-like qualities, in that they gather in packs, seem to have some sort of pecking order, and value the relationships they have with each other. Now, Will Smith's Robert Neville is a U.S. Army virologist. We learn from flashbacks that he had a wife and child, but he was separated from them, but he was separated from them when the virus first started spreading. In a chilling scene, his daughter hands him the puppy version of Sam, and Will Smith watches his wife and daughter go up in a helicopter, their fate unknown. In present-day New York, Will Smith's character has a daily routine that's marked by hunting for fresh meat, daily visits to the video store where he's arranged mannequins to be proxy people. So such a testament to his acting skills because there's some really profound moments that he has with the mannequins. And his nights after dinner are spent cuddling with Sam and trying to block out the terrible noises that are coming from the streets outside. Dark seekers can only go out at night. The sun burns their skin. So Dr. Neville has to be particularly careful about getting home before sunset. We see throughout the film that Dr. Neville is trying to find a cure for the virus still. He's running potential cures on animals and on infected human hosts. Now the whole film changes course once he takes this human host from the dark seekers which is the mate of the alpha dark seeker i won't reveal what happens next because i want you to go watch this film drop a comment below let me know if you've seen this film before if you're a fan of it let me know if you want me to do a part two letting you know about the newly confirmed sequel starring michael b jordan and the alternate endings to film one